Good morning everybody, or whenever you seem to be watching this. Um, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to be talking about a very topical species at the moment, but we're going to be talking about the gear to tackle that. And in following up videos, we are going to do the species itself. We are going to be talking about catching Garrick, so Lichia amia. Guys, remember you are allowed two of them, and the minimum size is 75 centimeters, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. We're going to be talking about uh, three different ways of targeting them. That's going to be the first method, which is going to be sliding a bait, which is today's video. So this is part one of three. We're going to be talking about uh, actually throwing lures for them, which is phenomenally exciting. That's going to be part two. And then we're going to be talking about actually throwing a bait. So going back to more old school style, throwing a live bait instead of sliding it through and when to do which one and that kind of thing. So. Guys, please watch all three. Uh, leave us a comment below what your favorite method is. Uh, subscribe downstairs over there. Click the little bell icon. And um, yeah, follow us for more interesting content. Click the bell, select all notifications, and you're never going to miss a video, and you're always going to be up to date with what we're doing. So let's kick it off. So the first thing we're going to talk about is going to be the actual rod itself that we'd use. Now, a lot of guys have gone, would have been old school using their Conlons or Deluxe 9 ounces, things like that, because of the, the nice bend they have. The best stick that we've got in terms of value for money and compactability and just an all round great, great rod to use would be the Coastline Heavy. Now it's a five to seven ounce rod, it weighs literally nothing, this isn't the whole rod. It's only the bottom section. They, it's a three piece, comes with brilliant guides and a quality reel seat on there so you're not going to worry about components giving out or things like that. It's got markings on everything that you know how deep it needs to be put in, that you're not going to uh, part the rod off or anything like that. And yeah, just a five to seven ounce, so it's a very, very nice bracket. You're not going to be throwing a live bait with this, you're going to be throwing only the sinker. And if you can't, if you're sliding a live bait and you need more than say a seven ounce sinker to keep it in place, believe me, you're wasting your time. Because if there's so much of a cross current that when you slide a bait that it's pulling out the sinker, you're really, really wasting your time with, uh, with actually trying to get a, get a Garrick. So now onto that, we would put the Sea line 50 reel. Now it is a beautifully nice, very, very fast action. It keeps going for Ever when it's spinning, it's got a nice long cast spool on there. It holds more than enough line. And speaking of line, um, I think we need to get this guy spooled up. So let's see, three, two, one. Magic, spooled up there. So onto there we've put 0.50 Kingfisher Giant Abrasion. 50 is really in that bracket of being thin enough that you can still get a good cast but thick enough that uh, the constant sliding over a long period of time, things like that, is not going to worry uh, about getting it um, abraded or actually damaging the line. Also, high abrasion, if it ever gets into the rocks, you just pull it, it will cut the rock in half. And onto that, our stock standard Kingfisher leader line, it has proven itself time and time again, that's a 0.80, so about a 60, what's it, 69 pounds, so call it 70 pounds for, for lack of a better thing. So that setup will land Pretty much any Garrick you're going to hook on our coast, even will beat the, the record if you wanted to, the setup will handle that beautifully. So, onto that we're going to talk about the actual slide clips themselves. Now, you get two different kinds. You get what they call a non-return, and you get what they call a return or nappy clip. So those are the two clips that you get, and contrary to popular belief, there's not one that's going to do everything. Your return clip, your, at least your non-return clip, as probably most of you guys are going to know, is going to slide down the line, down like that, and if it gets pushed back by anything, it actually locks. So it doesn't come back. It only goes one way, therefore non-return. So this works very well if you're targeting Garrick in a place where there's either a lot of waves, so your surf zone kind of area, or where it's a, a, a long shallow area that you're going to try and get through, or you're targeting to a specific point. So if you've got a deep hole that you know the Garrick are gonna come through and swim around in, you're gonna cast your sinker just to the other side of that, and you're gonna slide your bait with this, that is gonna slide and stay at that spot. So that's the non-return. Now the nappy clip, or the return, the original uh, slide clip, 
he operates that he can slide down the line and come back the line. So if you think about it, that's going to be where you want to be able to go off a very deep point where you want your bait to actually stay in the strike zone the whole time. So Garrick is not about long distance casting. It's, it's nice to have something like the, the SL50 that can do it because then you can use it for other things as well. But you're talking about a fish that comes into the area where your live bait is hanging out. So this is going to be for sliding, casting where you've got a nice deep, deep spot and a shallow area further back. So you can cast onto the shallow area and then this is going to slide and the bait's going to be able to go backwards and forwards on your line and stay in this deeper area or off a deep water point where you can cast and the bait is now going to be able to operate in the strike zone the whole time where it's not, it doesn't have to go down to the right to the end. So those are the two clips. There are multiple different ways to rig your live baits up. Everyone's got their own different way, whether it's two Kendalls that they actually crisscross like that. Uh, some guys do use a treble hook. If you are going to keep the fish, that is, that is your opinion. Um, and then also circle hooks with bridling, but Ray will go through all of that with you guys and we'll put a link to the video in here somewhere. It is Garrick season now. The guys are catching a lot, so get out there. Enjoy this uh, beautiful, beautiful species. And yeah, let's get some Dawa magic going with the Garrick. Cheers, guys.